This is John from Terrytown RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I'm talking to you on this beautiful fall day. And I just wanted to show you this brand new 2017 Heartland Bighorn Traveler. It is a 39RD. Uh, we just got this in not too long ago and I took a look at it the other day and I thought it was really cool. It's nice and big and luxurious. And uh, I really think they got this one right. I like the layout a lot. I like the interior colors. Uh, I like the general feel of it. And so I just wanted to show it to you guys. So, all right, the 39 MB Sleep 6. It has four slides. It is 41 feet, 11 inches long. Uh, it's, it's 12 feet, 11 inches high. And it's got a standard eight foot width. This particular unit does have a six point auto leveling system, four aluminum entrance steps, does have the eggshell, the eggshell exterior. We also got a 39 MB in, and I'm gonna be taking a look at that one soon too. That one has a loft bunk area, so. Let's get a look at some of these storage compartments, and then I'll bring you on inside. All right, so let's take a look here. You can see it has a very glossy front. It does have tight turn technology, so that means you can turn really well if you have a short bed truck. And you can read all about that on the Bighorn site. It looks like it has a Lippert pin box. Check out this front area. Um, there is a battery house in there, which I didn't realize. I grabbed my own to turn on the lights, but there's a battery uh, and there's an inverter too. Um, other than that, you got a really big wide open front area to store things on. Um, it does have solar prep, uh, which you can just plug right into that little spot right there which is really cool nowadays. Right here you can put one of your propane tanks and there's gonna be one on the other side as well. Uh, it does have a six point auto leveling system. So here's the front landing gear. Okay, this is your pass through storage. It's gonna be a little bit bigger on the other side, uh, but it does have this uh, automotive carpet liner in it, trunk carpet liner. This is how you control your auto leveling system. Right here, just bunch a few buttons. All right, here's your outdoor utilities, water heater, exhaust all right there's your insignia you can see that there are three slides back here uh, and you can kind of get a feel for the paint job too come back around the front check out the other side that's where your other propane tank is going to go this is the other side of the pass-through storage it's a lot larger um, lots of room in here uh, pretty tall spaces too So there are four aluminum entrance steps. Here's your door with your big grab handle. Uh, they also have a large awning with LED light. That's always good. UV windows. Here are the wheels that come on this. Get you in a little bit closer there. Pretty attractive classic wheel back out this does have a spare tire on it show you the back side big horn traveler again big UV protected window in the back all right let's get to my favorite part about this unit the inside it does have an in-system vacuum cleaner too that you can see right when we walk in Other than that, when we walk in, uh, you notice that there's lots of LED lights, really cool, almost honey color on the stain. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I really love this, this floor. This vinyl floor is awesome. It's kind of a gray white color. It's very cool right now. Uh, it's a wood look vinyl, obviously, but yeah, I like that a lot. Otherwise, when you come in here, first thing you see is this dining table, followed by these big windows this big rear living area it's awesome kitchen area this big island solid surface countertops lots of storage walk up the steps to the mat or to the bathroom and the master bedroom in the back so let's take a closer look also cool light fixture on the ceiling I don't know, it's just a little more modern and it's a little bit different and that's what I like about it. Other than that, you got another light fixture over here above the dining area. This does have vintage decor. 
think this will be part of that. There's also carpet in the slide outs. But yeah, you can lift this up too underneath the seats. So there's a little bit of storage. Um, there's also these shades on every window. Slide up and down easily. This is part of the decor as well. I also like in here that they have these runners on the walls. Kind of breaks it up and gives it a really nice textural feeling. I, the actual name of these escapes me right now, but I like how it's separated. The two colors, white above and this kind of gray below. Nicely textured with that wooden, wooden wall board trim in between. Okay, other than that, on all of these slide out fascias, not only do they have really cool woodworking, uh, but they also have these awesome lights. And I really like the way those look, especially if you turn off all the other lights. And then you just have kind of that cool blue glow. It's, it's pretty awesome. This is where your TV, entertainment, and fireplace go, right in the back here, as well as some storage. So here's your fireplace. Huge solid surface countertop area. And mantle, I guess you could call it. This is going to be your multimedia player. MP3, DVD, Bluetooth. Uh, so you can hook up your phone to this. USB, auxiliary. And of course, it has radio. But the cool thing is you can also control the speaker banks outside, in here, and in the back bedroom. Other than that, this is where your TV is going to come out. And I love it when they do this in the units. Just hit a button. It comes out that way. You don't have to be staring at a TV all the time. It doesn't always have to be the middle of the centerpiece of your life, especially when you're camping. But it's there when you need it. So I like that. And also, I will say, the guys from Heartland... Um, they have the smoothest operators of this that I've seen. It's just really smooth in and out. Sometimes you see it um, and it almost seems a little janky the way it comes out, but um, this one's just super smooth and nice. And it integrates really well with these solid surfaces. Let's check out this uh, leatherette. And all these couches are gonna be trifold. These, at least these two in the slide, and then the other one, I don't know, I'll have to check that out and let you know. So trifold there, trifold here. Um, notice all the windows and the storage above on both sides. And it just seems huge with these two facing slide outs. And then right here, it looks like it's almost like a love seat, a uh, recliner. Oh yeah, and they do have massage too. Yep, that's what it is. It's a massaging recliner with a heat button. Which, so check that out. And there's a control on each side too. So you can be comfy and get your own parameters for what you want. That's really cool. Okay, I just wanted to take this shot to kind of show you how spacious it is in here, how many LED lights there are, uh, just how warm it feels, but also just so you could get a feel for how tall the ceilings are. Um, the ceiling is even textured. Um, see the vents on the ceiling, the speakers on the ceiling, the lights, that fan, um, and the cool fixture in the kitchen that I showed you before. All right, let's go check out the kitchen. All right, in between the kitchen, the kitchen and the living room area, uh, they have another piece of solid surface here kind of separating with some extra cabinet space built in, which is awesome. And then open these up, and I believe that this is probably going to be your pantry or storage space. And they're even well lit by all the lights in here. You can see just how much room there is. It's pretty cool. There is a stainless steel microwave, really large, a um, couple of storage spots around there, storage cupboard above that, three burner range, oven, some storage over here, really big refrigerator, which I'll open for you in a minute, um, on the back wall. Notice this decorative glass. They also have the wine rack, which is cool. Lots of storage, another countertop space. You can use that as a workspace or whatever. Um, and then more storage below that. Pull out sprayer faucet. I'll give you a closer look at these solid surfaces. Pretty cool looking, very classic. Open this up so you can see the sink. It's just. I think they call this a farmhouse style sink in some units. Basically it's just one big pan. I really like that. Um, a lot of space to be able to wash your big pans, 
or even the, the surface on your grill or whatever you need. Nothing wrong with a big open sink. These two just so you get a feel real quick for so much room there is. All right, that's all the space in these cupboards here. Well, that's a space to put your stuff. And then in this one, right as you walk in, uh, this is how you control your slides, your awning, your lights, your master power, and also your utilities. Now I'll open up the fridge for you. Okay, it looks like we've got a large refrigerator space on top here. Um, and then it looks like there are two separate drawers here for the uh, freezer. So that's cool. It seems pretty cool and practical and like a really awesome thing to have in an RV. All right, let's check out the uh, back bathroom and then the master bedroom. Let's notice that there's a uh, carpet on the steps, it's the same carpet that's in the slide outs. There is a banister here, uh, another window at the top of the steps. This is where your one of your thermostats is. I think there's going to be another one in the back bedroom. This is equipped with two ACs. Walk on into the bathroom. Pretty large bowl. Nice size vanity. Storage underneath here. All right. Mirrored medicine cabinet. Open that up. Room in there. All right, they kind of have this blue, blue green glass. One piece shower with seat. Power head and skylight. Really nice. I like the hooks in here too. You can hang your towels up, your robe. And then we have some more space. A little linen cupboard here. As well as a power fan. Normally I don't like solid doors too much, but I do like, or not solid, but I mean, you know, with no distinguishing marks or raised panels, but these are nice because you can actually see the grain of the wood and you can actually see some of those knots and imperfections and they're actually really attractive. And I also like the color of this stain. So they did a lot of little things right in this unit. I like the texture of the walls, texture of the floors. Um, and the color scheme goes really well together. I even like the back bedroom. I like the, uh, the comforter they chose and the coverings for the pillows. I don't usually like those in RVs. They come automatically, but I really like this. Um, and there's also a really cool texture on the back headboard too. So it's just really cozy, really comfortable, very up to date feeling in a warm, homey kind of way. So, all right, and there's Big storage space, this is washer and dryer prep with a mirror. So that's where your dryer vent would go. There's your prep. Uh, there's also some plugins back here. If you don't use it for that, then it's a really great, really big storage space. I like the mirrors on this back wardrobe and those dark, the dark stain and the light stain. It looks really sharp, really modern and cool. Let's open that up. A couple more chairs that you can put around the dining room table if you want or to entertain with. Hanging bar for clothes, another shelf above that, and plenty of room in this closet. I'll open the other side too. On the outside they've got these little shelves, little cubbies. Um, they do have a little cubby shelf in the back of the closet too. Floor. And here's for your second AC, uh, as well as some speakers back here. So. And they also have a, a built-in dresser. Uh, it's really tall. And I'll pull out these drawers. These are gonna be the same exact drawer quality that's in the, the uh, kitchen area. Really sturdy. They pull out nicely. They, you can even feel the seal when you put them in. Really nice quality. Got a feel for those. There's also gonna be a 32 inch TV back here on this particular model. That's gonna go there. And in the living room, it's gonna be a 50 inch TV. So, um, I'm gonna see if I, if I missed anything else. Okay, I just wanted to call attention to some of the, uh, the stuff in this island. Plenty of storage space underneath the sink. Tons of storage. Uh, you can put a trash can there, recycling bin. Um, large cupboard here. Oh, and there's already a trash can here, so 
to do what you want with the other big space. Nice sturdy drawers, solid surface fronts. Yeah, and they all pull out nicely. On this island, I also really love the dark stain uh, in contrast to the, that lighter stain. All right, so I'm John from Terrytown RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, I just got up this big light because I'm running out of battery here, but, and I'm inside this brand new 2017 Heartland Bighorn 39RD. I really like the decor, as I've said. I like the layout. Uh, it's a really, really cool fifth wheel. Come on down to Terrytown RV if you want to check out this fifth wheel or any other fifth wheel. Uh, we'd be happy to show you around. Otherwise, thanks for taking this tour with me and take care. Give Terrytown RV a call today so we can put our buying power and experience service to work for you. We look forward to earning your business. Terrytown RV. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube page to stay updated on new content. Our Facebook link and websites are located in the descriptions below. Terrytown RV.